good evening and I'm in my room now I'm no longer in the basement this is my in-progress painting studio and let me mute the stream <laughs> so I know this is because this room is still relatively empty there's a little bit of a echo effect in here which is funny because it's not that big a room I'm all excited. This is my brand new desk. Although I'm thinking, I'm going to see how it goes, but I might have to get something to put down at my painting service. So I'm continuing on though. That's my exciting news, but the, I'm also continuing on painting up the lovely Sondiel. Uh, I still have to go back over and do things, but I didn't have that much time because I've been too busy working on this room. Um, I can't wait till it's done. <laughs> so how are people tonight? I hope everyone else is having a good week. Thank you so much for bowling, Fridge. Oh gosh, I can't read. Let's see, I gotta put this up. Fridge, uh, fragilities. Cool. Nice name. I love what people love. I always love to read people's tags. So, and I get a bunny lovin's in the house. I'm glad you're back. I hope uh, you've recovered because I think it, you hurt your back or something. Uh, as your, your love told us. I'm glad you're here. I uh, just want to let people know. Uh, just fragil uh, fragilities. I'm going to screw or frag. I'll call you frag. I think that's cool. Uh, since you're new, uh, I'm link friendly. If you have questions, please ask. And I love it when people chat with me. Or if Moist. you're working, even better. Gareth! It's the other half of the goblin. Uh, what the hell are we called? <laughs> the goblin double feature. You think I would remember what the hell I called us? <coughs> hey! Hi, Jake! I know everybody's like real names here. I know. You know what is? I'm tired. Uh, I've had. This said I'm in not in my basement anymore. I'm in the room, but I had to do it because my Wi-Fi connector to the, my computer uh, pretty much died. So I had to kind of um, a new unblemished desk. Yeah, we'll see for how long. Also, probably have to adjust cameras and things like that. Uh, we'll see. If it's too blurry, we'll figure it out. So, I said, I gotta go. I know I gotta do the green, uh, the diamonds, but I said, that's boring for you all. So, I'm sort of waiting on that. I'm gonna work on some of the details tonight. Some of the, like, the, the rope and maybe the violin and maybe the sword. Probably the sword. She's getting close to being finished. I also want to highlight all that fur. So how are you guys tonight? How are you, Jake? Oh, uh, by the way, you two ReaperCon, fellow ReaperCon attendees. I got, so one of the things I've mentioned uh, is that ribbons are a big thing. You know, badge ribbons where you take them and stick them to your badge. And people apparently ReaperCon get like, they build like streams of them that are as long as they, you know, as tall as they are. Well, our community members actually go and get ribbons. So I got some and they say they're, they say, uh, it's a point of inspiration. So they came today. They look so good. I'm so happy with them. So everyone will want one, but I only got a hundred because my friend told me that's what I should get. I'm trying to get this paint out, but like, I guess it's, it's pokey tool time because <laughs> it won't come out. Uh, so you will have to do like a lot of ribbons you have to do a task to actually earn them um so for mine is you need to inspire me either have a mini or whatever however you know a picture of a mini or or whatever you want to do to inspire me so uh, let me get the back so I said, we'll see how long the desk remains unblemished. I am fully expecting it is not going to remain unblemished for long. 
All right. So I'm going to start. Let's see. This is the brush. Yes, this is the brush I wanted. I'm going to start with the little the rope, which is kind of yellowish. And, oh, actually, I probably should put up my reference picture once again to remind you all what I'm doing here. Uh, display pics. I'm glad everything seems to have survived the uh, the move upstairs. So here she is. So I'm probably said so tonight. I'm thinking I'm gonna work on this and the sword and maybe the violin. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it exactly like that, but and to do the work on the hat. I started the hat and maybe this looks pretty good the way I've got it. I do have to lighten up the ones and the fur on the sleeves. I'm debating when I want to lighten up a little more. But that's what I'm working on anyways. So let me go back to my workspace. Come on, shut up. There we go. Hey, Kevin. You said, I see your love has decided to join us tonight, which is exciting. So I'm actually going to use since that, if you notice, the rope was kind of a yellowish tone. I'm going to use blonde hair, because why not? That's not bad for, not a bad match for what I was doing. Uh, the picture's not a bad match for this. Wow, I said, my brain, I think my brain's gone. If anybody knows where it went, you know, just pick it up and put it in a box and send it back to me. That's good enough. Yeah, of all the things that I lost, I miss my mind the most. That's one of my favorite little uh, sayings out there. I think back in high school, I was actually looking at it for a uh, yearbook quote, but I don't think I did that. <laughs> but yeah, I think I have lost my mind. It's a combination of everything. Uh, getting this room set up, work, uh, artist alley stuff. All the conventions, the conventions are involved, getting ready for ReaperCon, hoping I'm ready for ReaperCon. Because after all, I do want to, I do want to do a little more work on the tree and I still haven't had any time to do it. So I don't know if I'm going to have to take a slight hiatus from my mini a day challenge just to work on that. I'm thinking when I get to February, next February, which is when I started the mini a day challenge and I'll get a year. Uh, I'm going to switch it to a hobby streak because that way I can do bigger things than quick little paints and I can do better. I can try to work them up so they're higher quality. But for now, for working on trying to build up a little speed, doing the 365 is, is not, it's not bad. So, so don't forget if you're working on anything uh, I wish Rod would pop in I really would like I would love for him to pop in and, sh and post you know post the links to the if he's got them online post the links to the uh, awesome uh, how, what he did with his paint pokey tool that he got from uh, his Reapercon uh, box And I just assembled, I haven't painted it yet, but I assembled the, uh, the brush holder. It's actually used, it's actually being used right now to hold 
uh, some of my brushes and and actually my exacto knife it fit Of course, if you want to just tell me what you're working on, I'm all for that too. I'd love to know what people are working on. What minis they might be painting up or, or other projects or just what they're doing this evening or any gaming stuff. Oh, okay, so you're just working on the Pathfinders from Michael right now. Hopefully I'll get them done before stream so I can work on the Shore, tro shore Troopers, not Shock Troopers, right? <laughs> Short Troopers next. Path, what are the Pathfinders? They're not from Pathfinder, right? Or are they? Or are the Pathfinders more Star Wars troops? Rebel, oh, okay. Rebel 5 is the Pathfinders and Legion. Okay. Sorry, when I think of Pathfinder, I think of, naturally, I think of the game. <laughs> I guess that's how it is for me. Uh, let's see. I have, I even set up, oh, I don't feel like turning my, my cameras. I actually set up one of the, uh, the paint rack I bought from Reaper. I set up, said I set up the brush holder. So I've got a couple of my desk accessories going. Did I call it? Did I start this with? I know what I did. It was meadow green. So I think I have a little spot I need to touch up. So I got some yellow, some blonde in there. They're right here. <laughs> Oops. Come on. Behave yourself. Why are you being annoying? Uh, this is a little bit fiddly. Okay. So I hope he gets. I hope he gets his little care pack. You know what? I still haven't posted the pictures. I need to post the freaking picture of what I did for Mr. Mortar. He has seen him. That's the important part. He needs to see it first. All right. So I'm gonna take and I'll, I'm gonna wash this. Mm, I think I'll wash it with just our favorite Agronix. Agrax. Maybe some that one to pronounce that, huh? Agrona Agrix Earthshade. Our favorite brown wash, or at least mine. Oh, and I hope my, it didn't seem like earlier when I was on Discord um, that my air conditioning was picking up too badly in my microphone. So if, it, if you wonder what that funny sound is, it's my air conditioner because it's probably like still 90, well, it's probably not 90 degrees, but it's hot outside. I don't think it's going to cool down much tonight. Because it's gonna be like uh, uh, it's gonna be like uh, well into the 90s tomorrow, and with a heat index of over 100 in some places, I think some places meaning around here. I might need to. Oh, there it is. Felt like it was not really shading the cracks all that much there we go that's better sometimes i feel like um okay that's good i can barely hear and that's only if i turn the sound up really loud that's good that's what i was told earlier so 
Glad to see at least this is like the like Discord. No, I got that down. I might go over that again with uh Hmm. Either I go with that, I'll go that with the same yellow or the thing is, if when you tint, when you use a wash, it does it does tint your color. So you could actually to highlight it. Believe it or not, you just go back over with the original color. It'll be a brighter color. But I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to let's see. I, think I might just go to might add a little blonde highlight to the blonde paint. I gotta let that dry for a minute anyways because I don't want to go as light as the, the blonde this is the blonde highlight I don't want to quite go that light though uh, pull out a crappy mixing brush so I can mix those together Really funny with the way that way that got sculpted in there. Actually, I'm gonna go over that with a little more of the brown wash. So I'm gonna darken it under there. Looks like I just plain missed it. So I'm going to take this mixture, make sure I'm getting some up here. <laughs> I will highlight the higher spots. make it look a little clean. This isn't bad though. This isn't bad too bad. And I will keep it in mind that the color will dry a little darker than I'm applying it here. Or so it seems. I got my hands clamped down pretty tight together. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I almost touched this part that's, this is leather. That would be bad. pretty good. Actually, that blonde, uh, it's, I'm going to go back to the fur. I got, so that's done. I'm going to go back to the fur because I think I'm going to end up highlighting it, actually, that blonde highlight. I want something light but not quite white. But I also want to do the fur on the sleeves. Yikes, too much paint. When doing little things, you want to make sure that you don't have a ton of paint on your brush. And you have a fairly thinned out tip. And I'm 
sorry. I I know I lick my brushes, but I do it after I wash and dry them and make sure there's no paint on them. Or try to. You can notice I'm trying to make sure I leave the dark points in the recesses and I don't cover them up by mistake. Yikes. God, everybody's so quiet tonight. I'm hoping that means everybody's painting. Except for Kevin. Kevin, you have no excuse. You said you're doing nothing. You should be here chatting with me. <laughs> or you should be painting. Yeah, I know you're busy, Gareth. You're actually getting ready for your stream tonight. Oh, look at that. You got me. You, Pete the Hydrator would be very proud of you for doing that. <laughs> a lot of times I respond to what you guys say, actually. But, um... See, I got you to respond, though, didn't I? Neener, neener, neener. As I said, I'll just turn this into an instructional video. <laughs> Uh, it is supposed to be part instructional video, truth be told. I mean, that's sort of the point of having a mini painting stream is to teach other people how to do it. And show them how you do it so they can decide if it's the way they want to do it. Oh, let's turn this thing upside down. Okay, now her sleeves are... <gasps> Buddy Levins is hunting dragons! Be very... Okay, I can't do it. Be... I can't do Can't kill the R. Be very, very quiet. Bunnies hunting dragons. What are you hunting dragons in? Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, f my mouth makes a, God, this is going to sound, it could sound terrible. My mouth makes a good brush holder <laughs> in a pinch. Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh, that's, okay, Kevin, so you should be playing it with her. I, I, I mean, I assume that's the one I think that's an MMO, isn't it? I don't know. I don't play it. I'm like one of the few people who doesn't play it. <laughs> Shame on me. I'm just going to go over and highlight this fur a little more. So try to figure out how that happened. Oh, okay, she's catching up in the main story quest. So I am right. It is, it, yeah, that is the MMO one. <laughs> These dragons will burn my biscuits if I'm not careful. I gotta go over this because for some reason, it looks like I got some green down there. I'm not even sure how, but hey, it's paint. It kind of does what it does, right? Yeah, 14 is more of an, as an MMO. Yeah, that's, that's what I've heard. I... It, I know it's fun, and I know a lot of people play it and they really enjoy it, so who knows. But that would also require me to have, like, you know, this something called free time that I really don't have any of right now.
I tell you what, if anybody can find my find the, I think my free time went the same way my my brain went. So uh, if anybody can find me that too, that'd be cool. Nope, that brush is a little too fat. There we go. Where it's fur, it doesn't have to be totally perfect. Just try to hit the tops here, because that's where the light's going to hit. <laughs> no, nope, didn't know, but it said that that would require that thing I don't have, which is free time. I mean, it did know that a critically acclaimed MMO Final Fantasy XIV now has a free trial that goes to level 60. Because the first expansion, Heaven's Word. Actually, I think I come think of it, I might actually have known that. I'm going to just put a little bit right there. I'm going to do the sleeveys. <laughs> oh, is that where that, that was? Yeah, I kind of figured that was, well, I wasn't sure you put the, did you know? So I wasn't sure if you actually, you know, I knew you copied it from something. All right, as I finish do this last section, actually I should use this. I got to do her hat, so I might just use these same colors on her hat too. Because the hat does match the fur around her, her waist and her, the bottom trim. After I said this character is from Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, so I went with total winter coat and hats and boots that look heavy enough and made her look like she absolutely can be tromping around uh, in a place where there's no light and it's nothing but cold. So I'm going to wash the hat. I feel like something on my brush is, something's like sticky. <laughs> so this is not a bad, I said, I know a little tint, but this has got a really nice pattern to it. I'm gonna get a little bit in there. Still debating on why not want to do something with the, the, the uh, eyeliner. I'm still not sure I'm 100% happy with that. I look at it from this view and it doesn't, it depends on what angle I'm looking at it from.
Oh, look, it's a bot. It's a bot that's going to go ban, be ban hammered. How about no? Block. Block. You know what? Just because. We're dropping a band hammer. No, hey, you know, you guys can come here all you want, but you're not getting any of my business. Ha ha. You're just going to be a point of amusement. While I sit here and let my cat dry. All right. Rumble. Looks like I got a little bit of. It happens. I mean, you're gonna get you're gonna get stuff like this. Uh, it happens. So I just go back and I'm gonna touch that up. never feel like never ever feel like you can't fix something that you know that you accidentally painted and didn't intend on it you can fix just about anything i feel like the light is it's funny i actually i think i have brighter lights in this room they did in the basement. Although I don't have, my lights are not quite as much fun though. In the basement I got one that actually changes color. So my goal is I need to get a second one so I can do like lighting effects and such for uh, games. Okay. I gotta go look at my picture. I'm not going to put it up, but I'm going to look at the picture. Okay, so the top of her hat is darker, and the thing that's turned up is lighter. So I'm going to take my original color, and I'm going to go back over parts of this. It's a very textured hat, so I'm just going to kind of dot things around. supposed to kind of look fluffy. Maybe not quite as yellow as like a lamb's wool hat, but I think it's similar. desk and I think I just have my I have my arm and my new this is my this is new chair I guess you got a gaming chair and look it's purple because of course that was like a selling point for me that does you know give me it's actually a pretty good tight to rest my hand on the on the table so So the bottom is lighter. So I'm going to take my blonde highlight and I'm going to go over this. Once again, I'm going to kind of keep it. I want to make sure I keep that sort of textured.
when I get close to where the the edge is. Oh, darn it. <laughs> And worst comes worst, I can always go back over it with my wash. But where that line, where you get the border between the two, that's where you want. You want to make sure you have a bit of this highlight color going around. Just so that uh, the con contrast is good. The smaller the thing, the bigger the contrast, you know, so you can actually see the differences in things. I'll go back after this and I'm going to then dot it up a bit. Dot it up a bit. Well, it's not dots, but close enough. Can't think of a better term. I started dotting it up. So anybody else playing any other cool video games or said or tabletop RPGs or whatever that you might want to share with the class? I mean, I could sit there, I could sit here and talk about Sandiel, as she is the one that our our tavern is honoring tonight <laughs> and lately. That's funny. Trying to find someone. I'm uh, trying to find someone to find a crusade match for tomorrow or Friday. War. Uh, yeah, wait, Warhammer, that's it. I know there's like Crusades too, I think, for magic as well, isn't there? I assume you're talking about Warhammer. Sorry, Kevin, I don't have my army done. <laughs> I can't, I don't even have it assembled. My squiggies are, my squiggies are sitting, my squig, uh, my squig riders are all sitting back there on a high shelf. <laughs> something with that thing around her eyes well I hope if I, I was gonna say I hope you find someone now I will admit stores with discord servers um, so you can find people to play with are pretty useful pretty handy to have contrast on that top. So I'm going to go back into my wash. And I'm going to just I'm going to hit it again. Maybe a little more directed. Not taking out all my highlights. Is 
I said, there's a lot of crusading going on right now, I think. Because I swear to God, that magic... I swear to God, I heard magic's doing... Has, has crusaders or something like that, too. Yeah, there we go. Now I can see a definite difference between the top and the bottom. That's extra points. Also, I'm sure if you're interested in some for the Pulsota Vero game color in the Big Art auction this week with no minimum bid. That's kind of tempting, but oh, that's tempting. I don't know. Vienna is not my favorite kind of paint, though. It's not bad, though. Mm. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a little work around her eyes. It said that color kind of bothers me. Ooh. That the way the uh, eyeliner came out kind of bugs me. So I'm gonna see if I can do something to fix it up a little bit. That is t oh, that is tempting though. Um, so when is the auction? When does the uh, how does the auction work at Midgard? I'm not even sure. <laughs> it has been a while since I've been up there. It's not exactly close to me, and I really haven't, like, I haven't even gone to the Renlala's Dragon either. Sunday, oh, Sunday silent bid. So what is it, you can, you can go there anytime all week and put in a, a bid? piece of hard paint. Any, oh, just go up anytime. Well, then of course there's no bids on it right now. <laughs> or any, or is it any time until Sunday? What am I doing on Sunday? Oh, I'm playing, that's right, I'm playing games on Sunday. We're playing, we normally I wouldn't play next this Sunday, but we're not going to play for the next three. Because I'm going to start freaking out because ReaperCon is getting closer. And this will be the last Sunday. This will be the last Sunday we play before ReaperCon. Oh, it's a set? Yeah, okay. It's a s Oh, so they don't have the, the they don't have like a, a bid sheet where you can see what everybody's bid? Yeah, that's, uh, that's true, but how do you get bidding wars at the last second, though? It's looking a little better. I think I like that a little better than... Than I did before. I'm just gonna say... 
I did not do myself a huge amount of favors. <laughs> I did not do myself a huge amount of favors making this character like this. And making it harder for me to get my brush in uh, between the bow there and her eyes. Somehow that, that black seemed to kind of disappear. Doing that while my paint's drying. I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to clean this up. That's, that makes me much happier. Hey, I, this time at least I dropped a bottle of paint. The only thing is the paint was closed, so ha-ha. That was the hat. See a little point. Right there. It's kind of standing out. That looks weird. I think her hat is done. Well, actually, I'm going to do one more thing. It looks like a spot back here where the dark is a little bit too harsh. Let's go back in. All right. Her hat looks fluffy. Let's see, so her face, her hat, and her hair are done. I do have to go put this, I do get to put some metallic studs in this thing. I think I'm still debating why not, what if, if I'm non metal metallicing this thing. And it's just a, for a PC, you know, for, uh, it's a PC, it's my PC, so it should matter, right? So if I go down, it's the next thing. So there's the violin and the sword. What else was I was just thinking I was missing? I mean, I said, obviously, I know we got to do the gold studs. Oh, her gloves. That's right. She's got gloves. Get them. I did them, you know what, I think I'm going to make them a darker brown than I have on this. I did them sort of the same color as this, that fur. I think I want to make them different. So I think I'm going to make them leather. Let me find the leather pants.
still trying to remember where I put what. <laughs> I'm sure my love of pink is somewhere in my paint box. And I'm not finding it. Oh, there it is. So it's leather brown, which is what I painted her shoes and the belt. The gloves that should match the shoes and the belt, right? Isn't that how it works? She's such a fashion plate. I mean, she's a bird. She's going to be a fashion plate. Bards always get a bad name or bad rappers. They want like two things. One of them is fame. And half of them is to seduce the entire realms. Although I don't tend to play bards like that. This one's got some goals. As I mentioned before, she's looking for a song. Where the heck does her thumb go? Her thumb is way, geez. All right, I think that's good enough. She's got some gloves. But the gloves definitely need some, definitely need some shadowing in there where the, the dividing lines of her fingers are and some highlights. As I said, I don't have a lot of Vieo colors, but I do have this one Vieo Air color, which I actually like. It's good for doing, uh, it's good for doing like shadow lines. I mean, think of a little light on this. And I want to have a decent amount of contrast because I said once again, this is a small area, so it's kind of sepia toned. Hey computer, I don't really care if I have new messages right now. <laughs> there, go away window. Okay. Adding a little, sh little uh, line where there's a shadow on her hand. 
from the gloves. I think I'll do that here too. Oh, the, uh, oh, the, um, oh, the silent auction. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, though. I mean, what, uh, what painter, you know, out there doesn't want a huge collection of paints? Is that unfortunately I'll be playing during that point and can't, uh, can't go and second guess my bid 15 times. Hmm. Work a little on. Oh, uh, that's it. Hopefully, it wasn't my mic. Um, it's going to say, I don't know too many painters who don't want a massive collection of paints. I already have a pretty good collection of paints. I'm like now trying to pull them all together and get them all in here. But I said, if I had the time, I'd probably consider doing it. But I said, I'll be, I'll be playing. So I hope you heard me that time. <laughs> I hope my mic has not decided to quit on me. Honestly, I actually think it's a miracle that pretty much uh, everything I moved relatively, I didn't have too many issues with uh, getting everything up and running. I um, The biggest issue I think my, my awesome hubby plugged in. <laughs> he plugged in my headphones into the wrong slot or something because there was no sound. And I would play for something. I want to say I had to play with my cameras to get them working again. But it wasn't that much trouble. I didn't have to like load them again. Shut up. Don't you dare say something like that. My computer might catch on fire, Gareth. Because uh, I love my computer. <laughs> it was um, It was built by my best friend. So... I love my computer. Moist. <laughs> Michelle! It's Michelle! And I'm so happy she always announces herself with the moist sound effect and the moist emote. And I got my tank top on tonight. That's right, you didn't see it last week. I'm, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing the goblin. I got my goblin pride. Because it's the Goblin Double Feature, of course. Gareth will be on right after this. <laughs> the Goblin Queen, by the way, eh, that you did, that was, uh, that's amazing. It's a great piece. So how are you? Are you wearing your Goblin Queen top? Yes! In honor of the Goblin Double Feature, right? <laughs> Yeah, I love it. She that it's it's I'll bet you Scorpio was was pleased with that too. She must have loved it. I love that icon. You did such a good job with it. By the way, I'm probably vamping, trying to figure out what I, which thing I want to do next. Probably should do. I probably should get the violin over with. 
Oh, I mean, who wouldn't love it? It's gorgeous. It's such a, you did a freaking awesome job. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm still doing the gloves. That's what I'm doing. You did an awesome job on, on the artwork for that. I'm glad, I'm so glad you did it. Scorpio deserved an emoji. She has to, she has to wrangle Michael after all. That's not the color, wait a minute. Basically right now I'm making a highlight color for my, uh, for that leather. So it might help if I actually lightened up the leather color and not some other color. <laughs> So how are you tonight anyways? Hope everything's good up north of the border. Actually, don't mind lightening up this whole thing a little bit. You get mad today. I was doing some re references for a crank and found out the Goblin King logo is being. What? Are you. Well, that's. Yeah, that's annoying. I'll tell you what, that's why I like mini painting because you can't really poach this stuff. But that's. People are assholes. Really. Although on the flip side, that means somebody really likes your art. <laughs> but screw them. And I work with a lot of artists, so the, at the anime cons, that's my shtick is artist alley. So it, you know, I just it friggin' pisses me off when people steal from them or any artist. Too bad there isn't like some sort of you know software something built in the in, into these stores. You said they were in, they were in two other red bubbles. So you think you think maybe they could do some sort of an image thing that if that image pop up pops up on someone else's store that they could ban hammer it. But that is. Well, screw those people. So wait, did they? So actually, wait. Here's the here's the question. I wonder. So did they? Do you think they took just took like a really low res version of your artwork and they're trying to pass that off as? Like if we get it, it'll be like total. It'll just be awful. Uh, printing, it'll be, the quality will be terrible. And that's true, Kevin. I suppose they don't, but they should. It's good to know because at some point I'm gonna I'm gonna open up some sort of a merch store. That's good. So like you said, unfortunately, it's something you gotta like stay on top of. Um, yeah, that's actually one of the best ways to know that something's been stolen. If the print quality is low, re if it's a very low resolution, uh, so there's a lot of pixels, you know it's been stolen. It's not the original. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, and the, yeah, people will do that and claim it's theirs. You know, just take your artwork and make one minor change. You need to ban hammer all of those, I said, assholes. I said, I mean, the one thing you can say, at least, Michelle, is that your design is popular. But it, it doesn't, doesn't excuse it. It doesn't excuse this behavior at all. And I said, I get, it just, it pisses me off. And I said, hey, you know, if once I, if I start a merch shop, it could happen to me. So, who knows? But I said, I do plan on doing it. Oh, yeah, Michelle, I'm definitely, I definitely want to include what I think is the shirt for you, which is I want to take that emote. And I said, oh, I, I do want to do it, where it says, I got moist with the emote at the Painted Hero Tavern. <laughs> so. I love the fact you're using the term yoinked. Yoink. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to be dozy. What did I do? All right, now that I've got the gloves painted. Uh, let's see. I keep, actually, I keep picking at them here. Because that could be blended a little better. Yoink! Excuse me, folks. I said, don't get me started about people. And my feelings about people. Truth be told, I love most people. It's just that there are enough there just seems to be just enough bad apples out there that they, you know. That starts dropping my opinion of people as a whole. Fortunately, there aren't that many bad apples out there in comparison. Now let's start looking. What did I do for the violin? So I painted, obviously it's wood, so I painted most of it brown with black for like the, the chin plate and some of the details. All right. I think the bow is like black too. I've got a zillion colors of brown up here. And I wonder if I even have the one that, I, like I wonder if I even have one that matches the one I've got. That's what I got most, mostly is I got browns up on this, on my paint rack. Let's see. Actually, I know which color brown. I put it away in the box. Let's. I'm gonna go with Moani brown. Mm. Oh wait, it's. It's not in this box, is it? No, it's not in this box. It's in the other one. So this desk came with a little. Uh, thing that goes on the floor that you can put your computer on, but my computer is too hard for it. My hard drive. Where is it? 
Maybe it's already up here. No, that's not it. Where is my thing? Hmm. paints goes missing. Where the heck did it go? Especially since I really liked it. It was one of the few browns in the set. By the way, Michelle, if you're still working at Bell, if you want to actually post a link to that shop, you go right, if you want to, go right ahead. Let's see if I can figure out what I did with that paint. But I don't think it's in here. Well, this might actually not be bad. I've got Auburn Shadow. That might actually work. Oh, sorry. Um, I was going to say, if you want to post the link to the shop, go for it. Where I bought this awesome tank top with this awesome Goblin King design. Done by Michelle there. Because said, this is link friendly, so I'm more than happy that, well, I said, I know you do a lot of uh, not suitable for work stuff, which is fine. But uh, yeah, if you want to said, if you want to post the link, go right ahead. said I moved a bunch of stuff up from my basement maybe it didn't get moved maybe that paint color didn't get moved <laughs> hooray for boobies I don't have my thing listed as for mature adults although hopefully there's someone that's mature out there because God knows it's not me So what I always say when I say we the mature audience is only for Murder Hobo Wink. It's because God knows no one else is mature here. We need an adult. Oh my gosh. Remember I said I didn't do myself. I hope I didn't catch. Nope. Uh, I didn't do myself any favors by positioning the violin this way, but if I was going to ever play it, there you go. So there it is. There's the link to the Goblin King by, oh, well, it's, orc, it's under Orc Shopkeeper, which I think is a, that's weird because he's, everything is his Goblin King. You know, why, I was like wondering why it was under Orc Shopkeeper. I don't, I think it's, I think it's cool, but it's, it's. But he's the Goblin King. So I was a little surprised it wasn't like Goblin Shopkeeper or a Goblin King shop or something like that. Boobage. <laughs> Yeah, my paint kind of, as they say, borfed a little bit. I'm trying to take it out, or as much of it out, and then I might just repaint over that with the light blue. There's a bug that's decided to join my stream. Hey, where'd you go? <laughs>
The Goblin said the Goblin Queen version is. I think it's it's so it's really good. But I didn't just buy the flipping Goblin King one. I probably would have bought the Goblin Queen one instead. Because I really love that design. I love both of them, but I love that design. Oh my god, Michelle. You know what? You know what? I have one. You need to make a representation of a Goblin Supreme Commander. <laughs> And I kid, but I would actually consider getting one since I am a Goblin Supreme Commander. I am, uh... I'll tell you what, I can't wait till I get my goodie box from Michael because I really want the certificate that says I'm a Goblin Supreme Commander and that I completed the challenge to hang on my wall here. Gonna have so much fun decorating this space. I can't wait. We're inheriting a couple of bookshelves. I can't wait till I get them, and then I can start putting. Uh... Yeah, that's true. Yes, I know. Well, I mean. Um. I'm trying to think, like, sometimes, like, I mean, goblins can look, you, they could be, they could be neither, they could look like either or. They could look like neither. They could be, oh my god, why can't I think of the damn term? Non-binary. <laughs> How can I freaking forget that term? They could be, absolutely, you could do a non-binary uh, goblin. And I think a lot of them out there, but you're right. I, I get what you're saying. Although, as right now, the only female uh, goblin supreme commander, whatever the hell my rank is, uh, I wouldn't be offended. I wouldn't work. I wouldn't. I'd be okay if you had a male goblin. Because let's face it, the majority of people doing that challenge are guys. So, no skin off my nose. I see you, bug. <laughs> boom, boom, firepower. It was an idea, anyways. It, it's total its age. Oh, believe me. Cards, car, what kind of cards? Like, are they are they Christmas cards or birthday? Because I know you make uh, Michael's Christmas cards, which I think is cool. I need to look at my picture again. Oh, Christmas and a birthday card? <laughs> she better have. I agreed. Actually, I think Michelle would be an awesome looking goblin. Let's, let's face it, let's face it. I'm curious now, okay, because I used to do, I used to do, I actually have, as I mentioned, I have an art degree, and I had to do, I did have to learn how to draw people. I had to actually draw naked people. I had to do a life drawing class. Um, but when you draw, which, which do you, which gender, okay, this, this is nothing else, which gender do you prefer to draw? And do you have a reason why, Michelle? Because I will tell you what what I prefer. You know, 
uh, after your answer. Just unless you want me to say it first. Because I actually do have a, I have a gender I've always preferred to draw. Yeah, okay, so that's it. That's, that's pretty close. Uh, I like the curves. I prefer to draw women, and I like the, I like the curves as opposed to men to me are more boxy. You know, and there's a lot, they have a lot more straight lines. Women have more, are more curvy, and I think they're more fun to draw. But that is just my opinion. But I, it's hardly the only time I've heard that opinion. Mm. Once I get a guy in there and I missed a part of a glove. That Wendy Penny was a big influence in my work. Lots of line to be. Oh, cool. I'll have to actually look who that is because I actually don't know. But yeah, I always found I always found I like drawing women better. No offense, guys. The only thing is in my life drawing class. <laughs> I do not say that. I just say they're not as much fun to draw. Um, although in that life drawing class, I will say this. And I, I hope, please, don't anybody take offense, okay? And I'm not a skinny mini anymore either. But every person in that that we get to draw or most i think there was one who actually had like muscle tone and i really every other one was like they were they were i hate to say it they were fat people all of them and it's like oh, they were great to draw but i kind of wanted more variety so some would have been good i would have liked to have had a few with some muscle tone and such to draw as well we did have both genders though. And it's very interesting. It is a fascinating class. It sort of gives a whole new meaning to the term objectifying somebody. Because you sort of, that's the way when you're an artist, that sort of, you almost do, you're, you break it down into the shapes and the shadows and things of the body. And you said you're sort of turning into a series of objects. It's interesting. It's it. It's it's. It was very interesting. It was a very interesting class, and I got a lot out of it. And I'm glad I took it. I suppose all this should probably be brown too. Oh, okay, so, uh, yeah, comic book artists. That's not a bad, that tell you, some of them are, they're amazing artists and absolutely fantastic at drawing the uh, male and fe both the male and female forms. Yikes. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm just going to go over the the tuning 
don't know what you call them. I'm a fail musician. I'm not a violinist. I play the flute. But I don't know which. I know. I know what those are for. They're to. They're to tune the uh, the strings. By tightening them up and loosening them. I still didn't get it all in there. Oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to. All right. Doesn't matter. Well, if I paint over some of the areas, they're all going to be black anyways. I think I have a violin. I almost have a new favorite group, musical group. Now, when I, I listen to, what I like to listen to these, day, these days is classical music. Um, I don't know why I get into it more than like, I used to like rock and roll and I used to like pop and and such and I still do I like you know I love older bands like Rush sad sad about Neil Peart because he was absolutely my one of my favorite you know he was my favorite drummer ever but I've been getting into but I've been said but I'm in the classical music and through my classical radio, my classical music station, I discovered a new group called La, well, maybe they're not new, but new to me, called La Pieta. And they're all, all ladies. Hi, Dio. Let's see if he does it. <laughs> if you don't do it, I will. Um, they're all ladies and they're a string, they're basically a string orchestra. And there's, it's, the music is so good. So right now I'm licking her with her violin and I'm hearing the freaking, you know, some of their, one of their songs playing through my head right now. Wait, I have to do it. I have to do it. He didn't do it himself. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. How you doing? Uh, actually, Dio. I think people will call you Dio, so I should learn that. Hi, Dio. How are you doing? Were you watching? Uh, I suppose you were watching um, the crazy real estate stream, were you? <laughs> but, well, I think that's still going on because I still see he's still streaming. I still have, oh my God, I only have another half hour. I can't believe I only have another half hour. Just in case you're spying around for, for a raid for his real estate stream. <laughs> they'll get done five minutes and then they'll come raid because that's how it always works. All right, so there's the violin base coated for the wood. And tonight, I said we have to actually leave right at 10.30 because we go and it's Goblin Double Feature Night and we go right Gareth there. Um, I think I'm going to go find my Reaper Black. Which is in this one. Wait, what are you going to pill? Uh, you're going to pill a cat? Oh, that sounds fun. Have fun, Michelle. <laughs> I'm like so bummed out I cannot find my Milwaukee Brown. I can't 
keep thinking it has to be up here somewhere. So if I can't see that I'm on. Get boom colors up there and shield brown. Ah. It's somewhere in the house. Oh, get it done. So they've got to pilling, pilling the cat down to a science. He's on meds for life, so... Oh, I know what you mean by pill... Just still, I, I'm glad... I'll tell you what. I'm glad, actually, it's going well, because I know there are plenty of people that it's... Ugh, trying to get a pet pill into a pet is just a major headache. And, I mean, you can't help... You kind of feel bad, too. I mean... You know, it's a lot like they know what's going on. The chin plate. I think that really is just called the chin plate. As I turn this around, try to find some angle I can see it. Oh, there we go. I can see it there. Although I'll bet you that making the monkey bread last week is probably more fun than pilling the cat. <laughs> that bread looks so, when she gets back, if she makes it back. Otherwise I'll tell her uh, on her on your stream, Gareth, that uh, that monkey bread looked amazing. <laughs> I wanted a piece. But she sadly, she doesn't like live around the corner from me, so I can't just get a piece. One of my D and D players, actually D and D friends, actually uh, she makes monkey bread a lot. And it's always it's so good. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so on the picture, there's actually the little, you know, the little, the, the little details that, you know, you see in a violin. Can't find it on here at all. I keep finding spots that I missed on the violin. Okay. Sorry, Kevin, I'm not looking at chat. Let's see. Let's just finding that many monkeys. <laughs> I know, right? Especially since it's not my circus, not my monkeys. That's something I like to say at work. 
Usually when somebody comes in and tries to tell me to do something that is not my job, not my circus, not my monkeys. Go find out whose circus it really is and bug them. All right, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna fix her collar here. I kind of wonder why it's called monkey bread anyways. I mean, to me, banana bread would be a better title for, better better one to call monkey bread than, because I don't think there's bananas in it. go oh oh but that does make sense I think it's because it's pulling apart yeah because it's always pull apart that's the other name for it, it's pull apart bread all right go back to my picture the violin so I did the tuning keys I did them black So it looks like to me they made the neck of this black. And I painted it brown, but that's okay. I think I'm just going to paint this whole thing black. Ooh, did I get my finger? I don't think I got my finger. Her fingers. that works I'm gonna do the strings over that but having the black down there first to be the shadow of the thing probably not a bad idea I'll try to 
get in here too. You gotta think about it. At least it's not what else monkeys would do. So Michelle, and I was saying that your your monkey bread that you guys made last week, and you posted a picture in the uh, Discord. It looks so delicious. I was like, I wanted a piece so bad, but it looks so good. I was like, yeah, that was definitely worth skipping this dream for. <laughs> you are well within your rights to skip this dream for that that monkey bread. It looks, it said, it looked amazing. And I said, one of my uh, one of my one of my fellow gamer friends, she likes to make it too, and she'll bring it to games every once in a while. And it's so good. I'm a big fan of the, I'm a big fan of the icing, so. How in the world? Gotta figure out how these little keys go. It does go that far down. And this is why you turn it around 15 times. <laughs> Make sure, yeah, yeah, it does go that far down. You can see it much easier on this side. I'll have to find it. Let's see, Michelle, I'll have to find a proper recipe for it. It was made using a recipe from a teen's book for cooking. Use pizza dough. I'm sure you can use pizza dough. I I think that is one of the things that's used. Um, I'm trying to remember. At some point, I could ask. Uh, I could ask my friend Heidi uh, what she uses to make hers. But I do feel like, I've never made it, but I do feel like I have heard that before. Okay. What am I gonna do for these strings? Strings are always kind of a pain in the neck. Um, so I want something light. I want something really light. Gray would work. I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with a bone, like this polished bone color. Well, yes, if it, that's called a garage. Well, that could be a garage. That's true. Wait, I thought it was piano wire that was a garage that made the best garage. Not violin strings. Oh Lord, this is like, I can see them there. I'm like so nervous about this. Especially since that thing is in the way. The bow, the bow is in the way. Uh, 
So I'm just going to go over very lightly and try to just hit the string and try not to go too deep because I want to have the shadow in between them. Anything that's outside of it, I'll, I'll touch up later. This is, this is a challenge. I feel like that was the other. Oh, Jake, it was good. To, hey, I'm really glad you uh, hung out. Um, and oh, you know, make sure I can't wait to see what it was when you posted on Discord what it is exactly that you were working on. So see you later. Now, I still think that it's piano wire. I think piano wire makes for the best. Because those are actually made out of metal. It's wire. I'm like barely, barely, barely touching it. Because <laughs> I'm really trying to just hit the top of that. So I got that pretty good. Now if I want, I can go over it again and call test my luck here. Press my luck. Wait, what call? Oh, what? Yeah, you go, you go ahead and do that, Kevin. I don't want to be involved. <laughs> you can field test which wire is best for strangling people. I'm going to go back over that because I'm not happy with that. This could take some going back and forth. And this may take a, a bit of patience. I'm going to come down here. Yeah, I think my brush is too wet. All right, I caught that in time. Okay, I'm going to start from this side. So is any wonder why I was putting off the violin? Because <laughs> I knew I was going to have to do this. And this sort of qualifies as my least favorite part of this entire mini. I just wonder who you plan on using as your subject or your victim for this field chest, Crimson. Well, yeah, you've got 10 minutes, nine minutes. Nine minutes until Gara stream. 
then I'll be painting. I'll be painting while he's streaming because I want to do something. As I said, what I'm doing now is going to take a bit of back and forth until I get this so that I'm really happy with it. Because it's just so thin. And as I said, I didn't do myself any favors. They tell you always breathe. Oh, now you like. Oh wait, Dave, how long have you been lurking? It looks like uh, you've been paying attention. Checker pattern, scare mirror, any patterns and minis. I print my own vinyl stencils via vinyl printer. Just print out the decals on the laser printer. Uh, checks. I don't find checks are horribly. Yeah, I like that. It's. I did, actually, if you look, one of the things I have on here was is the mouseling, and I painted that the floor, which is all checks. But if you really look closely, they're not like perfectly, they're not perfect squares. It took a lot of um, going back and forth on that, too. And hello, Dave. It's good to see you. Even if it's in the last, like, five minutes before I have to go. <laughs> Yeah, well, because yellow, yellow is such a difficult color to uh, use to cover with, so I get it. I know people. I know people also can tape. People actually do uh, tape things down. Well, right now, I think I'd rather be painting checks than this than the strings on this thing. Speaking of scary. Uh, I don't, actually, if I bought yellow, I paint it. I paint white, or I white, paint white underneath it. I don't reprime it. I just get a, a white paint, maybe leave it a little thicker so that it's, um, so that it covers. And then I put the yellow back over it. But no, nah, I totally get what you're saying. And that's still a drag to have to redo. Talk about a cheat. <laughs> I mean, it's, I've often wondered how, you know, if those fine tip markers, they look, they bl if they blend in with uh, the paint you're putting down. I mean, it can be said, there's really no such thing as cheating when it comes to painting. Whatever works, works.
I still say that I, I think I'd rather be painting checks right now on yellow than this thing. Jeez. It is a tabletop model. I could just say screw it and <laughs> just leave it like this. I mean, it's not bad. See you, Gareth. And that's where we're going. So that's where we're going now next but see you bought some really small like 0 0.002 0 0.002 so 2000 millimeter architect pens with ink cartridges with acrylics in and they weren't good the touch pinto on the mini and the ink would not flow Ugh, that's not good um i'm trying to think of the i think coptic markers I wonder if that would do better. And by the way, I'm with you. I do, I like personally like using a brush and paint. I feel like it, it's, it's a context thing. I feel like uh, if I don't do it, it's not going to blend in as well. see if I can get a little as I said I'm going back over anything that I catch because I'm doing this freaking because I'm doing these strings. Oh man, it's ten thirty. I guess it's like stop it's stopping time. It's time to go raid my fellow goblin Gareth. So, I will say my usual. I want to thank everybody for tuning in and checking out the stream and hanging out and chit-chatting and telling me to go hydrate and such. Uh, I will be back. When am I going to be back? I'll be back on Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern for another couple hours of painting or longer. I think last stream I ended up... Well, last stream... My, my stream died because my Wi-Fi adapter that was on my computer uh, was going on, was on its way out. But now I'm plugged directly into my router, so no more problems. So, without further ado, let's go raid Mr. Gareth so I can go and grab something to do for my nightly paint. Uh, so I got some of the details done in her, so I did the rope and the vi you know, some of the violin. I'm going to hit that with a wash, I think, and I got to do highlighting and such on that. But she's getting there. I know I have to do all the diamonds, but who wants to watch that? Have a great night, and let's go reading! Hang out for a stream, it is really, really awesome. Is he even on? Huh. Actually, does anybody know if he's on? Let me, I may have to refresh my screen, so let me see. Oh, he is on. Okay, great. All right. By the way, it's so much nicer to have my keyboard right in front of me. Okay, I think, wait a minute, 
that is not typed in right. It is an underscore, not a dash. No. Nope. There we go. All right, here we go. Not going to make that mistake again that it's spelling the friggin' thing wrong. Have an awesome night, guys, and hopefully I'll see you guys Saturday.